Submitting a video assessment. What do I do if my video is too big? Unfortunately, there are limitations to submitting a video file for assessment, particularly when it comes to size. This video will address file size limitations and offer solutions to overcome them. File sizes. The size of a file will depend upon the duration of the video, the resolution size and the compression format used. You can usually find out the size of a file through the properties pane, but this will vary depending on the device you are using. There are two avenues through which you can submit a video file for assessment in Connect. Through the record video button, and through the Panopto student submission method. Whatever method you use, it is a good idea to keep your video file sizes as small as possible. Using the record button has limitations on the file size, depending on whether you use the webcam, upload a file or record directly through your phone camera. The Panopto method doesn't limit the file size, however if your video file is too large, it may take a very long time to upload it especially if you have a slow internet connection. In some cases, uploading a very large file would simply fail. So how do we get around these limitations? A. Instead of one long video, you could record multiple shorter videos, typically under a few minutes each in duration. B. Using editing software, trim the video down as much as possible. Cut out any unnecessary footage or export your footage as multiple shorter clips. Most editing apps also allow you to adjust the video resolution or bitrate lower during the output process. There are many free editing applications that you can use to do this. C. If recording on your phone or camera, consider recording the video at a lower resolution setting. For instance, capturing a lengthy video in 2K, 4K, 8K resolution or RAW format can result in an excessively large file size, making it cumbersome to upload and potentially causing playback issues for your teacher. Where possible, choose HD quality. D. If you have recorded a video that has resulted in a file which is too large to upload, you can compress the file using an application such as VLC or other video compression and formatting tools. We'll look at this later in this video. If you're having difficulty uploading from your phone or tablet, or your internet is too slow, you could transfer the video file to another device such as a desktop or laptop and upload through Connect from there. We will cover how to do this in another video. F. If none of the above options help, contact your teacher. As a last resort, you may even be able to transfer the file onto a USB and send that to your teacher. Do not use this method unless you have attained approval first. Compressing a file using VLC. So you have your video file ready to upload, but it's just too big and you want to compress it. There are many different apps that will compress a file such as VLC, Handbrake, and Adobe Rush. You can download these apps to mobile devices as well as a desktop or laptop. There are also many other free online apps. We're going to demonstrate how to compress a file using VLC. This program is free, available across multiple platforms, and is often available on TAFE Queensland computers. It is a popular media player for video and audio, but it does have an additional function to compress videos. If you don't already have it on your computer, download and install it from www.videolan.org forward slash VLC. Launch VLC and select Media. Then select Convert slash Save. This will launch the converter. The first thing we need to do in the converter is select the media we want to convert. To do this select Add. Next, we'll locate and select the file we want to compress. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the current size of this video. By right-clicking on the icon, we can select properties from the drop-down list. You can now see that the file is 46.5 megabytes in size. Click on the Details tab. Here we can find out the actual bitrate size. You should make a note of this number. Now we can cancel this pane and go back to our video file. Make sure that it's selected and click open. You'll see that the file has now been added. You can add more than one video at a time. Select convert slash save. 
This will open up the further convert options. Make sure the profile is set at video H. 264 and is an MP4. By default, it may convert your video's dimensions by half the size and lower the bitrate significantly. However, this is not always the case, so let's go into the settings and make some changes manually. Click on the tab for the video codec. You could experiment and change the quality level or frame rate, however, the easiest method is to change the bitrate. We know that the current bitrate is 6299 kilobytes per second. To reduce the file size, we reduce the bitrate. Let's reduce the bitrate by approximately half and see what we get. It's probably unwise to reduce it too much, to ensure the quality will still be high enough for your teacher to view it. We could also open the resolution tab and change the actual video frame size to something smaller. As it was already 1920 by 1080, we will leave it on auto. Save the settings, which will take us back to the main window. Click on Browse to select where you would like the new file to go. Give it a suitable name and save it. Now that everything is set, press Start. You'll see a black window with a VLC icon, which will appear to be playing. It's converting in real time, so this will take as long as your video's runtime. You can minimize it while it does this, but don't close it. Once it's done, the video will be ready to play or, more importantly, converted to a small enough size that you'll be able to add it. Double check the quality and size before you try to upload it, just to ensure it is suitable. If not, you can always try processing it again with different settings. It may be easier to use VLC on a desktop computer rather than a phone. There is another video in this series that looks at transferring video files from your phone to a computer.